next week's vlog. Um, so today, what am I doing today? Today I need to focus on my secret Santa doll. I need to get that out. Um, so I have some sewing to do on that. Um, and then some furring and then I'm pretty much done. Um, but I need to take some photos and send it to my um, partner swap person. Um, so hopefully I can get some photos today. Because um, I've said last week that I would have some photos. But, you know, things happen. Um, and then I'm almost finished my old copy. So hopefully have this up next week. Um, all I need to really do, it's all sewn up. Uh, all stuck on. I added a little tail. Um, and for some reason I didn't record it because it was just kind of an experiment and then it just stuck. But I'll explain what I did in the video and stuff anyway. And then I need to add some, um, some stripes to the legs and then we're done. Um, I went over the face just a little bit with some paint just to, uh, make it more uniform and make it more complete and a bit more, um, of the body colour. Um... I decided not to fur it because this fabric didn't really work for that type of um, technique and um, it just, yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> the, the pile is too short to do anything with and it's too, the fabric is too, because um, it's like a, a minky microfiber, it doesn't separate that well. Um, but anyway, I think the painted looks good anyway. Uh, so hopefully I'll finish that off today, um, and then work on the pastel wolf. Um, got a couple of things in the mail that I want to make videos for. Um, there's, I know you're probably sick of seeing Naruto things, <laughs> but because I'm making Kurama, um, I, and I'm re-watching the whole series again as well, um, I thought I've got most of the collection of things that just released, but I didn't have Young Sasuke, even though I don't really like Sasuke, but I like to have the collections and they're pretty affordable. Um, so I want to do a box opening on this doll um, or figure. Um, I got this from Mandarake. Great place to get um, anime stuff. Um, I get a lot of my stuff from Underake um, because it's pretty cheap and they usually have it in stock somewhere in one of their stores. So, yes, I will do a box opening for this figure. Um, I have a Kakashi one that has gone up that you can see. It's the latest Kakashi figure, the Vibration Stars one. Um, this is just a short video that went up. And I also have um, a First Four Figures, if you've heard of that brand. Um, they have an Okami uh, figure, so I got like the um, limited version of the Okami f Okapi figure. No, Okap Okami. <laughs> Too many Oka words. Um, so I have that uh, next to me and I'll do a video on that because it's a pretty cool figure uh, and I only just got it today. Uh, I haven't opened it up yet so I haven't seen what it looks like. Um, but yeah, I want to do a, a video on that because it's pretty cool. Um, so anyway, I probably should start doing some stuff because I have a lot to get done. Um, I think the printable this week for, uh, this month for my Patreons will be, um, like a, a sample sheet of some of my sticker sheets. So I have like, um, one sample from each sticker sheet, um, that will be available as a PDF, as a, not a PDF, a Photoshop file. Um, I think it's an a, A6 Photoshop file, so that will be available this month at the end of the month for my $10 and up patrons. And I have a video that went up on there last week that was about tips for cutting faux fur with. Tips and tools, really. Um, and then I'll do another one that has... Um, trimming faux fur, but for that video it's tips for cutting, uh, tips for, tips and tools for cutting faux fur. Um, and then I have another one next week going up about, um, patterns for, tips for patterns, uh, for bodies. Um, and then I also have a, um, Kurama sculpting the hands video as well. So that's all going to go up on my Patreon for my $5 and up tiers. Um, so you get access to a whole lot of other videos as well um, when you pledge 
So if you're interested in that, you can head uh, to my Patreon. It's down in the description. Um, but yeah, I will do some stuff today. couple of things to do today but I wanted to show you what I did yesterday um, I finished up my Okapi doll um, so this will be available in my shop um, either this week or next week I don't know check in my shop um, as usual my patrons will have uh, early access to anything that I make um, so this will be available on my patreon and then we'll go into my shop if none of my patrons want it um, but yeah, I added all the markings yesterday, and I'm thinking the markings will be a separate video over on my Patreon, so if you want to know how I did that, then, um, it will be available on there in the coming weeks. Uh, so I need to take some photos of, um, of it today, and then start edi editing the photos to put, um, up in my shop on Friday, um, which that doesn't take too long. I don't have much time to do things today, because... It's already 3.30 and yeah, I don't have much time. Um, so I'm going to take some photos and then um, just edit them and uh, anything else that needs to be done for the Okapi doll, I'll do today. Um, I might do some touch up of the paint on the feet because um, just to uh, give a little touch up on it. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll do that today. Um, if I have time, I will do some sewing. So I sewed the front end up, um, during yesterday. Um, so almost done. All I really have to do is sew the tail on and add some more stuffing and stuff. And then, um, I can start focusing on the head, um, and furring the head as well. Um, and then, and then I can start working on all my other dolls that I have, um, which would be good to have like a little um, doll backlog so I can have some ready to go. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I've done yesterday. Uh, I don't know how much I will get done today, so it probably won't be a fantastic rest of the vlog. But um, yeah, I guess I'll take some photos of my old copy doll. <laughs>
um so end of the day i'm gonna end the vlog here uh didn't really get managed to do a whole lot but i got some photos done for my old copy um and then for the rest of the afternoon i'll probably just do a bit of hand sewing so hand sewing isn't that fantastically exciting so no one wants to see hand sewing all the time um but anyway i did cast some ferret feet so i have to demold them um i had one missing one uh so that's ready to pull out of the mold i'll probably do that next week or something um and then you know once i've finished the couple of dolls that i'm working on i can start focusing on um some of the other dolls but um yeah anyway that is pretty much it from me today um hope you enjoyed the vlog um if you want to support me on patreon uh link will be down in the description i have a couple of things up there at the moment and a lot more coming coming up um also you can check me out on instagram and facebook at creatures of net and i'll probably catch you in the next one bye <laughs>